Hi there, this is Vince with Article Marketing Robot. I am creating an instructional video on how to set up an author account properly so that you can get the maximum number of signups out of the directory list. Uh, in this video, I'm going to be using the uh, standard directory list that comes with the software, um, but this also applies to sites that you import. So uh, right now we're sitting with a brand new blank database. We're at version 1.1.0.4. And the first thing we actually need to do is create an email account. So for me, I use cPanel accounts. Some people use Gmail, but I find the best uh, success comes with a hosted email account uh, via cPanel um, through your web hosting. So I'm just going to log into my cPanel account now. and create a new email. It's really easy to do. Um, down here we have email accounts. Click that and then create your your actual email. So I'm just gonna call it October 5th because that is today's date. And I'm gonna use one of my favorite domains and I'll enter one of my own passwords and create the account. And that's it. That's all you have to do to create an email on your cPanel account. Oops. Okay, so now that you have your email, you enter it into your author account information box. Now you'll notice that this password field uh, is required for an author account. You do not use the password that you used for your email account. This is the password that you used to register to the directories. Do not use the same password as your email because if you do, some directory owners, I don't know which ones, but they will actually take your email and tr attempt to log into your uh, email account and start sending email from that account. So do not use the same password. Um, one other thing to note, and I'll just do it in the About Me box, is the password format should be like this. Capital P, well, it has to have one capital and one number, okay? So for example capital P password one is the correct format so keep that in mind when you're creating your password first name last name make them unique or use the pre pop button that will enter spin syntax into the first name last name and username field you can also append numbers to the username if you wish I'm going to select no um, so that now what happens is article marketing robot is going to sign up to a different directory or sorry um, yeah at every every directory it signs up to it's going to create a different first and last name and a different username so so there isn't a footprint um, the other the other two fields that are spinnable is the website field and the about me box so you can uh, enter spun content into those two um, so for the address pick anything you want um, it can be absolutely anything you don't have to use your own address it doesn't really matter I find that if you use a US based address, you get much better sign up, sign up success rate than if you were going to try and use somewhere else in the world. I don't know. Um, so I always, always just make it up. Like, literally. LA, 90210, California, United States, 333444555. I leave the fax number out because that's never a required field. My website. just like that just enter your standard URL um, now the about me box some people like to put links like properly formatted HTML links into the about me box personally and I've seen it work it does work I've seen um, the profile have a live URL but if you're looking at you know increasing your success rate or getting a higher approval rate on articles it's better to leave it out um, because you're gonna get your link from your articles anyways and a lot of the times the profiles aren't even indexed by Google so uh, just just create a standard about me box so I'm gonna just make something up if I could spell there you go I like to submit articles about stuff and do things for fun that's a perfect about me box okay so at this point this is the correct method for setting up your author account. The next step is your POP3 settings. 
Now I've pretty much standardized how a cPanel account is supposed to work and this is for the majority of people. So you would just come over to this and your email account you would just select your drop down. Uh, you have non secure, secure, you got a Gmail and a GoDaddy. Um, I always use cPanel non secure because I'm with HostGator and they don't require secure um, login but sometimes uh, maybe another cPanel uh, hosting provider will so you may need to experiment but for me I would just select non-secure and read this please note these settings may not work try the test button to see if it works blah 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 uh, hit OK and then here is where you enter the password that you created that you used when you created your email account so all the others all the other settings are extracted from the step 1a email I'm just going to test the pop 3 the uh, pop 3 succeeded and that's it all I have to do now is hit save and my author account is ready to go so that is how you create an author account properly in article marketing robot so that you get maximum submissions or sign up success rate sorry um, I will stop the video here and move into sign up in the next video talk to you later thanks bye